Hi April Kids, how are you going? As you know, I've been reading through Lion, Witch and the Wardrobe and now we're up to chapter eight. So let's see what's happening here. And now said Lucy, do please tell us what's happened to Mr. Thomas. Ah, that's bad, said Mr. Beaver, shaking his head. That's very, very bad business. There's no doubt he was taken off by the police. I got that from a bird who saw it done. But where has he been taken to, asked Lucy. Well, they were heading northwards um, when they were last seen. And for all we, um, and we all know what that means. No, we don't, said Susan. Mr. Beaver shook his head in a very gloomy fashion. I'm afraid it means they were taking him to her house. What will they do to him, Mr. Beaver gasped Lucy. Well, said Mr. Beaver, you can't exactly say for sure, um, but there's been many taken there um, and no one comes out. Statues, full of statues, um, they say it is, in the courtyard and upstairs and in the hall. People she's turned, he paused and shuddered, turned into stone. But Mr. Beaver, said Lucy, can't we, I mean, we must do something to save him. It's too dreadful and it's all on my account. I don't doubt you'd save him if you could, dearie, said Mrs. Beaver, but there's no chance of getting into that house against her will and ever coming back alive. Um, couldn't we have some strategy, said Peter. I mean, couldn't we dress up as something or pretend to be peddlers or something and watch till she was gone out or, you know, there must be some way. Mr. Fawn um, saved my sister at his own risk, Mr. Beaver. We can't just leave him to be, to be, to have, you know, that done to him. It's no good, son of Adam, said Mr. Beaver. No good you're trying of all people. And now that Aslan is on the move. Oh, yes, tell us about Aslan, said several voices. At once, for once again, they had that strange feeling, like the first signs of spring, like good news had come over them. Who is Aslan, said said. Um, Susan, Aslan, said Mr. Beaver, why you don't know, he's the king, he's the lord of the whole wood. Mm. But not, not often here, you understand, never in my time or my father's time, but the word has reached us that he has come back. He is in Narnia, Narnia at this moment. He'll settle the white witch all right. It is he. Um, not you who will save Mr. Tumnus. Um, won't you turn him into stone too, said Edmund. Lord love you, son of, son of Adam. What a simple thing to say, said Mr. Beaver with a great laugh. Turn him into stone. If she can stand on her two feet and look him in the face, it'll be the most she can do and more than I expect of her. No, no, he'll put it to rights as it says in the old rhyme in these parts. Wrong will be right when Aslan comes in sight and at the sound of his roar, sorrows will be no more when he bears his teeth Winter meets its death, and when he shakes his mane, we shall have spring again. You understand when you see you'll understand when you see him, but shall we see him? asked Susan. Why, daughter of Eve, that's what I um brought you here for. I'm to lead you um where you shall meet him, said Mr Beaver. Is he a man? asked Lucy. Aslan a man, said um, Mr Beaver sternly. Certainly not, I tell you. He's the king of the wood, and the son of the great emperor beyond the, the sea. Don't you know who is the king of the beasts? Aslan is a lion. The lion, the great lion. Oh, said Susan, I thought he was a man. Is he? Is he quite safe? I would feel rather nervous about meeting a lion. That you will, dearie. And no mistake, said Mrs. Beaver. If there's anyone who can appear before Aslan without their knees knocking, they're either braver than most or else just silly. Then he isn't safe, said Lucy. Safe, said Mr. Beaver. Don't you hear what Mrs. Beaver tells you? Who said anything about safe? Of course he isn't safe, but he's good. He's the king, I tell you. I'm longing to see him, said Peter, even if I do feel frightened when it comes to the point. That's right, son of, son of Adam, said Mr. Beaver, um, bringing his paw down on the table with a crash that made all the cups and saucers rattle. And so you shall. Word has been sent that you are to meet him tomorrow if you can at the stone table. Where's that, said Lucy. I'll show you, Mr. Beaver. It's it's down the... Let's turn this page. Down the river, a good step from here. I'll take you to it. But meanwhile, what about poor Mr. Tomness, said Lucy. The quickest way you can help him is by going to meet Aslan, said Mr. Beaver. Once he's with us, we can start to begin doing things. Not that we don't need you too, but there's another of the old rhymes. When Adam's flesh and Adam's bones sits at um, care paravel on the throne the evil time will be over and done oh gosh just a minute i have just lost my page hmm. 
So things must be coming, um, drawing near to the end now that he's come and you've come. We've heard of Aslan coming into these parts before long ago. Nobody can say when, but there's never been any of your race here before. Um, that's what I don't understand, Mr. Beaver, said Peter. I mean, isn't the witch herself human? She'd like us to believe it, said Mr. Beaver. And it's on that that she bases her claim to be queen. Um, but she's no daughter of Eve. She comes of your father, Adam's. Um, here, um, Mr. Beaver bowed. Your father's Adam's first wife. They called her Lilith. And she was one of the jinn. And when she came from... Um, um, that she comes from on one side and on the other she comes from giants. No, no, there isn't a drop of real human blood in the witch. That's why she's um, bad all through, Mr. Beaver, um, said Mrs. Beaver. True enough, Mrs. Beaver replied here. There may be two views about humans, mean, meaning no offence to the present company, but there are no two, two views about things that look like humans and aren't. I've known good dwarves, said Mrs. Beaver. So, so have I come to think of it, said her husband, but precious few, and they were the ones least like men. But in general, take my advice, when you meet anything that's going to be human and isn't yet, or used to be human once and isn't now, or ought to be human and isn't, keep your eyes on it and feel for your hatchet. And that's why the witch is always on the lookout for any humans in Narnia. She's been watching for you this many a year, and if she knew there were four of you, she'd be more dangerous still. <laughs> What's that got to do with it, said Peter? Because of another prophecy, said Mr. Beaver. Down at Cair Paravel, there's the castle in the sea, the coast down the mouth of this river, which ought to be the capital of the whole country, um, if all was as it should be. Down at Cair Paravel, um, there are four thrones, and it's a saying in Narnia time, out of mind, um, that when two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve sit on the four thrones... Um, then there will be the end of not only the white witch's reign, but of her life. And that is why um, we had to be so cautious, cautious when we came along. For if she knew about you four, your lives wouldn't be worth a shake of my whiskers. And, and the children had been attending so hard to what Mr. Beaver was telling them that they had noticed um, nothing else for a long time. Then during the moment of silence, they followed this last remark. Lucy suddenly said, I say, where's Edmund? There was a dreadful pause. And then everyone began asking, who saw him last? How long has he been missing? Is he outside? And then they all rushed to the door and looked out. The snow was falling thickly and steadily. A green ice of the pool um, had vanished under a thick white blanket. And from the little house that um, stood in the corner of the dam, you could hardly see either bank. Out they went, plunging well over their ankles into the soft new snow, snow and went round the house in every direction. Edmund, Edmund, they called until they were hoarse, but silently falling snow seemed to muffle their voices and there was not even an echo of an answer. <sighs> How perfectly dreadful, said Susan. And um, at last they came back in despair. Oh, I wish we'd never come. Um, what on earth are we to do, Mr. Beaver, said Peter. Do, said Mr. Beaver, who was always already putting his snow boots on do we must be up for once we haven't a moment to spare um we better divide into four search par parties said peter and we'll all go in different directions whoever finds him must bring him back here and search parties for son of adam said um mr beaver what for why to look for edmund of course there's no point in looking for him said mr beaver what do you mean said susan he can't be far and we've got to find him what do you mean there's no use in looking for him? Um, the reason there's no use in looking, said Mr. Beaver, is we already know where he's gone. Everyone stayed in amazement. Don't you understand, said Mr. Beaver, he's gone to her, to the white witch. He has betrayed us all. Oh, surely. Oh, really, said Susan. He can't have done that. Can't he, said Mr. Beaver, looking very hard at the three fielding um, children and everything they wanted to say died on their lips. For each felt suddenly quite set inside that this is exactly what Edmund had done. Um, has he been in this country before? asked Mr. Beaver. Has he ever been in here alone? Yes, said Lucy, almost in a whisper. I'm afraid he has. And did he tell you what he'd done or who he'd met? Well, no, he didn't, said Lucy. Then mark my word, said Mr. Beaver. He has already met the white witch and joined her side and been told where she lives. I didn't like to mention it before, him being your brother and all. But the moment I saw his, um, set eyes on that brother of yours, I said to myself, treacherous, he had the look of one who had been with a witch and eaten her food. You can always tell them if you've lived long enough in, in Narnia. It's something about their eyes. All the same, said Peter, in a rather choking sort of voice. We still have to go and look for him. He is our brother after all, even if he is a rather little beast. Um, but he's only a kid. 
um, go to the witch's house, said Mrs. Beaver. Don't you see that the only chance of savouring either, either him or yourselves is to keep away from her? Why, what do you mean, said Lucy? Why, all she wants is to get all four of you. She's thinking all the time of those four thrones at Care Paravel. Um, once you were all four inside her house, her new job would be done, and there would be four new statues in her collection before you'd had time to speak. But she'll keep him alive as long as he's the only one she's got, because she'll want to use him as a decoy, as bait to catch the rest of you with. Oh, can no one help us, said Lucy. Only Aslan, said Mr. Beaver. We must go on and meet him. This is our only chance now. It seems to me, my dear, said Mrs. Beaver, that it is very important to know just when um, he slipped away. How much he can tell her depends on how much he heard. For instance, had we started talking of Aslan before he left? If not, then... Um, then we may do very well for if she won't know that Aslan has come to Narnia or that we are meeting him um she will be quite off her guard as far as that is concerned I don't remember him being here when we were talking about Aslan said Peter but um Lucy interrupted him oh yes yes she was yes he was she said miserably don't you remember he was the one who asked whether the witch couldn't turn Aslan into stone too oh gosh said Peter that is just the sort of thing he would say too worse and worse said Mr Beaver and the next thing is this was he still here when I told you um, that the place for meeting Aslan was the stone table? And of course, no one knew the answer to that question. Because if he was, continued Mr. Beaver, then she'll simply sledge, um, sledge down in that direction and get between us and the stone table and catch us on our way down. In fact, we shall be all cut off from Aslan. But isn't that what she'll do first, said Mrs. Beaver? Uh, um, not if I know her. The moment that Edmund tells her that we're all here, she'll set out to catch us this very night. And if he's been gone about half an hour, she should be here in another 20 minutes. You're right, Mrs. Beaver, said the, the husband. We must all get away from here. There's not a moment to lose. Oh my gosh, goodness me, this has taken a turn. This has definitely taken a turn. Um, I hope that you're enjoying this series. We're going to continue reading. Um, hope you're all well, Uproar Kids. Okay, take care.